Wow. Mm. Hi, how's it in the name of Christ? How you doing? It's your girl crank. Hey, I hope you're good. I hope you're peachy. I hope you're still up. And I hope you're in a neat little bunch. I hope you're keeping it together. If you're not, I mean like, what can we do? What can we do? What? Hmm? What can we do? What? <laughs> Absolutely nothing. So let's just take all this in one stride. I need more light. Give me more light. My light, my light. Give me more light. <sighs> okay. You know what, you're all, like, I don't even know why the world is even revolving at this point. I asked for more lights and now there's too much. Okay, so, picture this. I don't know what's up with, like, joylessness all over. <clears throat> joylessness, but, like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, yes. Hi, how's it? Mm. It's your girl, Quinky. Ooh. Alright, so, I guess what, y'all? I have a new phone. <laughs> and I am, I'm recording on it. This is a new device. It's a new phone. <laughs> Are you digging? <laughs> I'm digging. My hearing new though. <laughs> I'm so funny. My hair is not new. It's old. Mm. I need to change it up. Mm. I don't need to change it up. I just need to take out. Yo, we're experimenting. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um, what are we gonna do? Straighten up and fly right. We're not doing this. How's it in the name of Christ? It's Kala. <laughs> I hope you're good. I hope you're peachy. I hope you're still. I hope you're in a neat little bunch. Are we caught in a loop of repeating the same thing? That's the world for you. It's a loop. Planet is a loop, you guys. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news. It's a loop. It's a loop like wah, 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 wah. I apologize. Oh, believe me. I don't. We're not singing. The world is a loop and I'm caught in it. Hi, guys. How you doing? It's your girl, Cranky. Hey, I hope you're good. I hope you're peachy. I hope you're still are. And I hope you're in a neat little vent. Yeah. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. Did I just freak you out? It's the loop. You're living in it. I see dead people. I see dead people. You do? Oh, man. I wish you not said that. 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 Oh. Oh, we're in a loop, aren't we? Because <laughs> why are we guys to keep repeating the same stuff over and over? Wait, when to read some more, yeah, you got the same thing. Die, 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 die. Ooh, ooh, ooh. But nah, don't nobody recognize this for what it is. Cause don't nobody wanna do a better thing. And if nobody wanna do a better thing, don't nobody try to come back and do it. You guys, my hair. <laughs> I don't know what to do, I gotta wash my hair. It's wanna take it cut, sweaty, re re taka. I gotta wash my hair. How you guys doing in Christ's name? I'm not quite getting around to the hair wash mood. But like I can make it a high bun like I just did. Ah! 
Okay, it's the 5th of Jan 2023. I hope you're good. I hope you're peachy. I hope you're stellar and I hope you're in a neat little bunch. No, we are no longer doing the loop because this ain't a loop. It's real life. That was good. And it is a Friday. Hey, and I'm ready to sing. Kick up my pants. I forgot the song. Anywho, anyhow, thank God. God does not forget me. Oh, 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 oh. I love my hair. You guys, I do. I dig some looks. They're so pretty. I love my hair. It's so natural and beautiful. It's so sick as well. Like, ooh. Who don't love the her? Everybody got a love the her. But don't nobody want to try and admit that they love the her. But the her lovable. If the her lovable, why are you acting like the her ain't lovable? The her is a lovable her. It is coming to you in the name of lovability. And the sister in question don't know why you got to do the unloving thing to the lovable her. Uh, it's an earthquake uh, Cause the lovable her Is doing a different thing today Guys, my hair It don't move unless I Get an earthquake up top uh, My hair It don't move My hair It don't move My hair and don't move my hair. It don't move unless I move my hair. Myself move the hair. Myself moving hair. hair. Telling the hair that you better move. You better move hair. Cause right now you stepping on my toes. I said move hair. Hair move. My hair is finally I'm moving like a tectonic plate near Japan. <laughs> it's the hell in a move. Cause we made a move. We made a move. And now that it moved. Don't nobody else move. Eh. Leave me alone. I just feel as if though. Los me eight. It is needed achtung. What? Say no do no dat. Say los me ni eight ni. Ey. Excel los me eight. Dis nie raag die dan wat sê doen vandag Jaste dag gister doen JD Same dan Ek sê los me eet Die dan wat sê doen het sê gister die Same dan gedoen Hoe kom los sê nie me eet nie Ek sê los me eet eh Ik kus nie blij van die activity Omdat sy doen die same dang Gister vandag en sy sal morgen die same dang gedoe Ek kus nie jou tooi Ek kus sy persoon Maar sy wil nie my uit gelos en so Ek sal jou geslaan Ey! Los my uit! Oh, ek sal die heren gejel En sy sal jou gebars met die earthquake soos a tectonic plaat Ek sê, los me eet Los me eet, 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 eet Omdat sy is a dingekie en ek is a hele hele human being Maar sy is a dingekie, ek soek nie om met a dingekie gewees Maar sê, los my nie uit nie Hoe kom doen die dingekies Die dinge wat vir baie wekker gewees los my Ek sê, ek is nie blij vir jou activity So as die heren baie Upset 
Van die ongeluk is een ongeluk omdat Hoe kom doen jylle die ding vir my Jylle was nie supposed to Maar jylle walk in die ongeluk So is een ongeluk in die straat Ek sê los my eet Los my eet Eet Oh what I'm that composer Ek doen, ek doen music as a speeler, die popper sal dans. Ek doen music, oh guys, I'm so talented. Oh, oh, it reeks of travesty, this thing over here. It's a travesty, so much talent. Oh, it makes my eye twitch. Talent, so much. Ek sê los my eind, my, my, my songse naam is los my eind. En ek het nou die laas, a hele... Like Grammy ge 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 wees omdat ik was zo goed van die song ge compose en ik was die girl ik het ge arrive oh maar jij laat niet ge admit de ding die dan ge doen jij laat jij laat refuse om te ge admit en ik is no die laat like doen van jij laat die los me eiters ik roep jij laat die los me eiters omdat jij laat zoek niet om mij los ge eet niet zo jij laat naam as los, as die los my eiters ek het, ek het hylle die hylle die die naam gegeel omdat hylle los my nie eit nie, amen ok, let's put some caveats out there that's what's good uh, yeah, I might be wearing application makeup, uh, it's up to me really, I don't know, but you're gonna know if I've done it, uh, also my hair still has not been washed, but this time around it's gotta bounce in and step, so kick it kill it, hallelujah my captions I'm not always accurate. I'm not really sure what that's about, really, because I just feel as if though I'm so articulate that they should just be captioning proper. But uh, just like a lot of these South Africans, my captions also suit me or my loss get me. So I don't really know what to do about that. But like, just look out for it because I'm not taking them out because I think they're cute. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Oh, I also have a white car sunscreen and it makes my eyebrows grey. Um, that's like a whole thing. So it's just like take that in your strat. Um, cause like what? We're trying to protect from the sun, okay? Like what? This is, it, it, the, everything else is shady except my life. Mm. It, it's not shaded. Everything is shady except for where the shade is needed. So we need sunscreen. Amen. And just in case you're wondering what that is over there, um, don't ask, don't tell. Anyway, cool cars, beans and bananas, uh, potato chips and sweets. Let's just move on, right? Let's do that. I have a new camera. Do you like it? No, I have the same camera, just a new phone, hey? <laughs> it's some Samsung and it's killing it. Ain't nobody out there dealing with a speech like are they anymore. <laughs> it looks like I found my feet again. Uh-huh. Yeah, okay, fine. So I'll tell you, this thing is a head scratcher. Every so often I get itchy and so somebody got to do it. And so since I don't want to do it, I gave this a job to scratch the head. Ah! Anyway, look. Los my eiters. This is what this one's for you. This one's for you. Just in case y'all didn't know what I was singing over there, those of y'all that speak English. <laughs> Afrikaans is one of my primary languages. I get it. Ah! Except anyone who's Afrikaans will know that I just literally butchered it. Ah! What I was saying is like, leave me alone. That was the name of the song. And everybody out there that don't want to leave me alone, their name is now Leave Me Aloneers. <laughs> I'm so funny. It's so hilarious. Like, oh, just can't stop it. And that whole song is just basically about how it is. That I want to be left alone. But like, don't nobody out there in these streets want to leave me alone. And so we just keep on repeating the same thing again. Oh yeah, no nah, guys, another thing that I just want to start doing every single, um, uh, you know, video that I do is to just kind of plump up my cheeks, like blush them so that you can see that I've got blood and I bleed and I'm a human being. So this like process is, is to just give myself a blush that's going to last a good minute and then disappear. But it's just to help you see that I'm only human after all. I'm only human after all. But you're taking trash out on me. I'm a person. 
living in these streets And people don't want to respect it And so they treat me like a teasable thing And I don't want to be teased no more But they still tease anyway Cause they ain't got nothing better to do So we are gonna blush the cheeks So that people can see that I I am a person Ooh. And look at my blush, it says I got blood But everybody's trying to act like it's not a whole thing But it totally is, cause look at me, I'm blushing Oh, I don't know what I ever did to deserve this lack of conspiracy I wanted to say reciprocity, but who cares? To get some reciprocity And tell me who I have to be Hey, Lauren Hill, let's say it To get some reciprocity Cause no one treats me like a human and it looks like no one ever will and no matter how i seem to glow even with pink inside my cheeks it ain't working it ain't working and when i try to walk away they hurt me more to make me stay this is crazy this is crazy oh, oh. but jesus cares for me cares for me me. I know he cares for me, there for me, there for me Said he'd be there for me, cry for me, cry for me Said that he'd cry for me, live for me, live for me After he died for me, care for me, care for me The Lord does care for me, there for me, there for me Said he'll be there for me, died for me, died for me And now he lives for me, gives to me, gives to me Why won't you give to me? Boom, 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 boom like we're done you saw the pink in my cheeks it's gone now or maybe it's still kind of there but it's gonna go in a minute mm. that's evidence of the fact that i live i'm like a hu like a whole human being my mela i have a phone so thank god i don't have to have issues anymore i don't have to struggle but who under heaven wants to be husband yam muriel who is i need to no Kim Mango Batlang Hoba Muriel's husband who wants any of that any of that any of that, da, 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 da. do you want to know why the devil is causing you guys to settle for random marriages it's because he wants you to divorce and remarry that you might live lives of adultery and so he makes out of y'all muriel's hobby muriel's hobby muriel's hobby who is muriel's hobby Oh, do you wanna know? I'm carrying on my head, it's so heavy. Ooh, I gotta carry my head, it's so heavy. If I don't carry my head, ooh, uh, it's gonna fall. Go. So we carry my heavy head until further notice. Because it appears that there's nothing else that we can do but carry our for forlorn and have it but Rubbish nonsense all day long All day and night is it rubbish nonsense All day and night is it rubbish All day and night is it rubbish nonsense All day all day long is it rubbish and nonsense uh, How many times do I have to tell you Even when you go back to the drawing board boo The world still keeps spinning around Going to hell whether you want to defy it Cause God done told you that hell is real But you don't want to believe so what are we gonna do it turns out we're gonna keep singing and ringing the same message all to you 
Oh, hell, to turn to watch your bed where stay in the love. You're dizzy and so totally out of your mind. Cause you're living you in love, your devil. All your curves and all your edges. You don't want to acknowledge come from the heaven. Given that all of you are doing everything in your power to deny the God who created you. What he's going then to do is take all of us and then leave all of you for hell. It done made my head all that heavy. Whatever. Do you, do you, do you, sister girl, do you, brother? Do you? Hey, look like my blush is staying, eh? It's just sticking around this time. I'm tired. Does it not appear to be a case in point that I'm so wasted? It's a gong every day. Nothing works all day long. We are tired. It appears it's gonna be going and going until it can't go no more. When they're crazy, man, they're so crazy. Planet, oh, crying, oh, have you oh, made heaven do? Oh, but I know. Scary, scary, why are you scary? I don't know why I'm being scared. Planet, I saw Yenza lent Alena. It's not going to happen here. Not indefinitely. We are going to disturb your peace and amenity. We are gonna take it away just like my video disturbed my peace. I was singing melody. Lullaby since you are asleep. Eh? Next thing, disturbance in the background. That's you. 24 hours a day, you are full of disturbance. Nobody can rest. Eh? Seeking to find peace today, but you are taking it away. All the day long, you are robbers of peace. Eh? You are the bandits of peace. You are the cash in transit heist of peace. You are the destroyer of relaxation. You are the tempter unto oblivion of tranquility. You destroy it with your bare hands. You are rough. You are rough. And you are not tough, but you are rough. You have no gentleness, no tranquility, not in seat in your heart. That say, but this is so much rubbish. Why don't I leave the rubbish behind where the rubbish gonna stay? It is important to abandon the rubbish. But the rubbish is living with me Because uh, nobody wants to abandon That which we all must abandon If we are going to enter into the rest Of the one that is the king of kings 
But the old beach has no place in the heaven, yeah, ooh. And yet you have no now for the only way out of an eternal rubbish bin. You are where those bin dwell on the earth. You are that's beaming. And because you are that's beaming on the earth, you're gonna go to the eternal dust bin. But we are trying and trying and trying. Sounding every day like like the broken record air yeah. to take you out of the eternal does be no yeah. because currently you're acting like a rubbish do you not see that there is no other place for the rubbish but there does be do you not see that does be is your eternal home you are begging begging now you you are scratching like a magote ooh, inside the dustbin begging to be taken to the dustbin because you are scratching around it just like a maggot that very same maggot is gonna eat you for eternity and it will never die no you will be weeping, you will be gnashing your teeth for all of that time. The maggot does not die in that place and that is exactly where you go because you are rubbish today. Rubbish only goes in the dustbin because you are dust right now. So why do you not do a better thing, oh, eh, eh. And Jesus is gonna show you flames in a minute. But uh, you don't believe in me, cause you are rubbish. The hearing ear and the seeing eye. It appear according to the Bible is given by high. Do you have it? the seeing ear and the hearing eye because i confuse it because you are rubbish do you have the hearing ear do you have the seeing eye if you no go have it rubbish is you when i say seeing eye you pick up a cue don't you because you belong to the illuminato I'm not talking about that one. I'm speaking about the hearing, ear, and the seeing eye. Ain't nobody gonna hear the word of God without him. You're not gonna see, you're not gonna hear. Hearing they have, having ears they don't hear. Having eyes they don't see. Rubbish, rubbish. All day long and I'm not doing it. Yeah? Like how many times must I continue in this insanity? I just feel so beleaguered on all sides, yeah? But at the very prospect of me continuously so just coming here speaking the same things every single day. Day and night, I never really get any rest at all. It's like you guys insist on being exactly what you're gonna be in eternity. You're gonna be weeping and gnashing your teeth forever. There is no rest for you day and night in that place. So similarly to you not rest Resting right now, are ya? It's written in God's word that the wicked are like the tossing sea, whose waters bring up my and dirt continually. There is no rest, I saith the law for the wicked. So it appears as if though you're already doing what you're gonna do in eternity, isn't it? Just gonna be burning and burning and burning until nothing is there anymore to burn, and then you're gonna burn again. I'm not doing it, eh? But it turns out I is. I ain't spy. But it turns out I do. I don't wanna do it, but it turns out I must. But like for how long? It turns out don't nobody know. But since don't nobody know, I'm just gonna put it out there that I ain't happy doing none of this. Hang chabulanga. Impilo yami psungun jeng can't please yo yami. Pilo yami naiza. It will be a bomb. Kifilanka will a lot like a cool and it's like a hobble circle humping a halimara. Hotella. Anticlimax. We're not doing it, but like it appears we're doing it. And I'm just like, you know what, you guys? Never again, okay? This is not kosher. It's not like, huh? 
It's not sweet, it's not dapper. It's not schwacker, it's not killing it, no kicking it. It's just disaster. But like you don't see it for what it is. And you spy is killing me, say no, 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 just like you forget. Bottom line is, and you spy is killing me, say no, 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 say no, 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 Jesus Christ is Lord, yay. Ute, y'all are in some pretty heavy water, la bora. Who in the world under heaven wants to have Muriel's wedding out here in these streets? Don't nobody, especially when they're on the receiving end of being unloved. Mamelang, Luna Batletsinka Kori Kori. Ma Kori Kori, Kori We, Ma Kori Ko, Ma Kori Ko, Ma Kori Kori, Kori We, Ma Kori Ko, Ma Kori Ko, Luna Kaji Koro, Bella Kifilan Kari Kihalika, Swamo, Ma Kori Ko, Luna Badi Koro, Bella Kifilan Kari Kihalika, Swamo, Di Kori Ko, Ma Kori Kori, Kori We, Ma Kori Ko, Ma Kori Ko, Ma kori 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 we ma kori ko ma kori ko luna ba piziba ta wi sang ba na ba ba chuka di ko ko kori ko luna ba piziba chumpa ba chuka di dwelem sa kori ko toke lang ba chuba ba chuba chung hurry ba lo ba mo ma ratong kasi a ba tole ratale ba kense manya lang ka ma kori ko ma kori 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 we ma kori ko ma koro bela kori 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 we ha u produce le ratong bela. I done created a song out of a song I knew once upon a time back in the day. And I'm just putting it out there that my Kori Kori don't do jack to create real love. I'm just saying. Who ning na my life think you complain like I'm a Kori Kori? I'm not doing it. I kick you reading. Mara no. Yeah, yeah. Khali do mailing. So knuckle it in like a flying kick from heaven on high. Flying kick it in like a high style like a Bruce Lee. Uh, oh! I'm doing edits in the background, you guys. I struggle to multitask. Because that's just what the crankcase been built like, okay? Like, y'all, can we please have a discussion about my kori kori? Those of you who are wondering what my kori kori is, it's korobela. Those of you who don't know what korobela is, learn the word, okay? It is spelled K-O-R-O-B. Sting. E-E-L-A as in ish. Corovella. Swang Maruna Babang Harili Harili Badli. Hi Bana Harili Badli Wiley Refostisha. Kupali Arabang. Arabang! Leave us alone and leave me alone. Mmm, so be not junk up, Brenda Farsi. Leave me alone, leave me alone. Los ons. Los me eight dipina ele, you're my life thing. The African swan, sing that too. Los me eight, los ons eight. On suk ni om te verfos gelaf. Leave me alone, leave me alone. Even with my broken Afrikaans ni. Cause at the end of the day, it makes me very tearful. To imagine that I'm gonna get married to a man I don't love. It's also painful in the heart. He's taken me away. We're not doing it. We're not doing it. Yo, I'm not kidding with you. The Lord ain't proud of you who go and pray to him on some thank you, Dad, for giving me a wife. Thank you, Father, for blessing me with a man. Hallelujah, G. And he's like, Gee. somebody come and sweep this person out of my heaven, praying to me, thanking me for a wife I'd ain't never give them because look at what they done did to the poor girl. Now she is all up in the marriage with a man she don't adore. He is all up in the marriage with a lady he was not feeling. And now the dude is trying to get a divorce so he can go and get be remarried. And they say he's going to be committing adultery against me. 
Get out of my heaven. Somebody sweep him out. I ain't trying to touch none of that. I ain't trying to touch none of that. I ain't trying to touch none of that. Because no unclean thing shall enter my rest. Get it? Get this step in. Get this step in. Depart from me, a girl of iniquity. Yay. I don't know. You be out just lying to the world around you. Saying I'm blessed and highly favored. Look at how the Lord and give me a husband. Look at how the Lord and give me a wife. Look at how the Lord I'm blessed, a brother. Please, brother, relax. You are not a brother, first of all. Let's put it out there because you never ever gave your life to Christ truly. So really don't claim yourself one of us because you're not. Let's just put it out there first. And secondly, poor teen that you go and marry making her like Muro's husband. Yeah, you're happy on your wedding day, but she's all sad. I wonder why I'm marrying this guy. Never sign up for it. Yet, the lady walking down the aisle. So please don't call yourself brother first and foremost. And secondly, you better let a woman go before you marry her. And since she's all up in adultery, married to a man that she really loves or even cheating on you, you're putting yourself in harm's way. Don't you see? Marano, Muriel's wedding all up been like scattered in these streets, slathered in the South Africa, maybe across the planet. I don't want no Muriel. So I'm pleased to. Ah, guys, let's create some cool bunkimbi. Jim song. It's a jam. Let's create that jam for a Muriel. Muriel is the lady or the guy. Yeah, guys, if you're going to use any analogy. It's a girl or a guy that's like, yo, me a considered eagle, kawaii, a kasho in love. Mara say, 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 hear me, ni attention, attention. Say, hear me, ni attention, attention, but take so come to your attention, ha, 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 get, whatever. Say, hear me, ni attention, so I can get the attention. I want the attention. I want the attention. My name is Muri, 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 Muriel. My name is Muriel. My name is Muri, 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 Muriel. My name is Muriel. Lina la kaki, Muri, 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 Muriel. Lina la kaki, Muriel. Libito la kaki, Muri, 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 Muriel. Pizza la kaki muri ele kamalam gu muri 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 el i kamalam gu muri el and I marry a man or a woman no that does not care to look at me oh oh but muri 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 el I'm just interested in the ring, that's all. It doesn't matter that as little Muriel, my man or woman don't want me. He you gotta love the Muriel, cause she gets what she wants no matter what, even though nobody want her back. <laughs> Muri, 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 Muriel. Exuk me on Muriel's wedding, Gehene. Eka so rai. Eka so rai. I guess you're right, Isho. Like ex niece was a person that all right us. I guess you're right, Muriel. But now, Muriel, I joined some girl, but I can show you things. I can show you love, Muriel. I can adore you, Muriel. Not Muriel. Muriel is the one that's trying to love me. So the male version is like, hey, Maraba Raba. Muriel and Maraba Raba. Archer in these streets trying to marry people that don't like him back because they have found themselves the sneezy bug called Korobel. As in Unakama, Kori Kori, Kori Wema, Kori Koma, Kori Kori. You are putting people in a position to blaspheme the Lord God on high by one day, not only cheating on you, but then leaving you for some other people getting married over there and then imagining that the Lord God Almighty is okay with it because it's the 21st century where 50% of them people be out to getting the divorce. Uh, uh. That's how the Lord gonna be dealing with you later, spitting you out his mouth like a burp. Okay. Y'all, this is a very serious issue. I really don't know what else to say, like Papa. It is not all right. It has never been all right. It shall never be all right tomorrow. And next day after that, it shall never ever become all right either. 
lost the individual's hate that don't want you because then if you insist on uh, inspiring emotions in their bodies that were not there yesterday they're gonna wake up and realize that oh snap to do da da i don't like this guy and what i like is peter over there how you doing a wink a wink and so you endure the unfortunate soul through adultery look at it go with all of its insensitivity against the most high and look at it also ultimately upon dying going to hell forever you're condemning people to nobody gori gori it's written in the lord's word on high because we that chick that's what's good hey boom that offenses will come in other words people are going to sin against god it's just what archer happens in these streets it's unfortunate i'm saying mm -hmm. but like woe to the man through whom those offenses come woe to the man through whom those offenses come woe to the man or the woman who causes a man or a woman to sin and i'm like ma kori kori oh ma kori we ma kori kori a aluna que grande I got a whole bunch of friends out here unable for the life of them to be my friends anymore because they became these little menacing monsters on the planet because they were gory gorified oh my look at them having been gorified gory gory we're gonna stop singing because it makes me cringe i can see why i keep doing it because i listen to my own voice and i'm like ah oh, ooh, every time but it makes me feel better <clears throat> However, despite it making me feel better, young D Stevan and I need to be able to watch my content without feeling like, ooh, like, ooh, stop doing that. Yeah. So let's stop singing and just get serious. At least my content now, my captions are generating. So let's try and get a bit more serious. That's what's good. Los ons, ne? Rotogeleng, leave us alone. Leave us alone. Tina banya bantu anas funuk ba he lying em kakwen. And then my thing now is anfuni nuk jabul. Don't you want to get mad happy? Don't you want to? Who doesn't want to be happy? Who? Oh, can't care. Nah, chick. Like, nah. Nah. I said nah. Except, yeah, okay, fine. I'll open. I gotta catch you guys. I have an animale. 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 Hey, queen can. <laughs> animale. Animale. I animale. My animal, on the Anyway, my cat's inside, so it's all good in the hood. She's just gonna wander around all over the show, maybe eat, chill and sleep, or maybe leave again after this. But given the time that it is at night, twenty one thirty four, she might just hang out. Listen, y'all, please take a heed of what I'm speaking. I said I'm, I wasn't gonna continue to sing my gori gori. That's my jam. Y'all write it down, please. It's not mine, really. It came from some other song that was in an advert back in the day in South Africa. Mamelang. Um, Corvela. Those of you that don't know what it is, it's basically a love spell. It's what this American guy is doing to me. It's what a whole bunch of guys are currently doing to me. It's what my ex boyfriend tried to do to me. Um, it's yeah, it's basically just using sorcery. Hey guys, look, it looks like a, a blush just kind of stays there. If you just pinch your cheeks long enough, it might actually be around for an hour. I don't know. Whatever. Look, um, Muriel's wedding. Have you guys seen that movie? Have you? If you haven't, I would implore you to go and check it out. Like proper. It's about this lady. I believe it's an Australian original, right? Um, yeah. It, is it British or Australian stand creator? Hey, hey! Nonsense. Yeah, my cat's got the zoomies in uh, the smallest little environment, and it just does not make any sense at all. Okay, cool beans. Yeah, Muriel's wedding is about this chick that. Um, one minute. Muriel's wedding is about this this lady chica okay that ends up married to this one dude but um yeah anyway whatever look it's about a, uh there's this like olympic swimmer well wannabe olympic swimmer he's a professional athlete this this young handsome gentleman guy he's a professional athlete and he wants uh he's he's not from i think it's in australia stan created it could be maybe an english show i don't know but i really believe it's in australia if it's not really let's just use australia for the sake of referencing so that we can just continue to tell the story without glitching off it yeah um this dude wants to be a, an, a professional athlete in australia but he does not have 
the papers. He's not Australian. He's from somewhere else. I think Germany or something. He's not Australian, but he wants to compete as an Australian. And he has pretty much grown up in Australia. He has, yeah, all that jazz. And somewhere along the way in his endeavors as an athlete, he gets met with a chocolate block and he is told that you cannot join the Olympics or try out or compete in this particular regard unless you are married. No, not unless you're married, sorry, unless you're Australian. And then his coach advises him that, look, the way that you can get this around this particular technicality is by getting married to an Australian woman. And so you're going to find yourself then able all of a sudden to compete. You're going to be able to do whatever you want to do. And the marriage with, with this woman, it doesn't even have to, like, you don't have to, it doesn't have to be death, do, do you part. Just temporarily do it for now. And then you're good. Like, that's what's good. And this dude is like, okay, fine, whatever. Like, yeah find me a wife find me an australian woman that's going to be prepared to marry me and they indeed scan these streets and muriel comes up and muriel is prepared to basically take everything in her stride all the terms and the conditions everything that they are offering her she's like i'll take it and according by by this man's standards um this guy and even the way that i mean the woman who acts in muriel's wedding is actually in real waking life quite a beautiful woman but they prospered to make her just like what happened with charlize theron in monster they prospered to make her look like some very substandard like just very unattractive right they made her look extremely unattractive in the show yeah muriel's wedding in this movie yeah muriel's wedding so you would also feel it as a um a person watching the show that oh like what a compromise the guy is athletic he is very handsome and he is about to basically get married to this like ugly duckling of a woman and this chick is just out of her mind with excitement like she is so happy almost like a man proposed marriage to her that she was genuinely in love with and the two of them are just gonna go into the sunset together except no it's a one-sided thing the guy could not care less about this woman and when eventually the woman was picked that would ultimately accept this deal she sorry the man was he was visibly visibly grossed out he was visibly in the movie Muriel's Wedding. This guy is visibly grossed out. He is visibly unattracted to her in a way that is hard to ignore. He is grossed out to, with, with facial expressions and everything on. Like, you know, when you look at something like, ew, like, ew, like, ew, like ew, yeah, the excitement of Muriel. She was like, oh, her smile, guys, like her smile. She, like, I have a biggish white smile, but the smile of that chick, like, mine does not compare. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> she just has this, like, massive smile throughout the negotiations and even on the wedding day. She is so happy. <gasps> She's just smiling. She is so elated. And the whole time, this dude is like, ew, ew. When it's time to kiss the bride, he's like, ew, mm, mm. Yeah, he's just, he doesn't want her. And this chick just can't pick up on the cues. Like she is ignorant entirely of this man's disgust of her. And my question, when I, I watched Muriel's wedding when I was very young, my question was, how does he, how does she not see that this man doesn't want her? Like how under heaven does she not see that she's unloved? Do you understand what I'm saying? Like that, that this is, this, is, this can't work. It can't, this guy, I'm fooling. He's disgusted by her, like visibly. He is disgusted by her. But Muriel is out here with this beaming smile from corner to corner. Looking like the Joker. Yeah. Muriel's wedding. Okay, that's the movie. Uh, from what I can remember, because I, like I said, I watched it when I was still a, I was a kid. I was young. I was, I think, primary, maybe even high school. It's an old movie. Muriel's wedding. Okay. Um, yeah. Is there lipstick on my teeth? That's what's good. That's what Muriel's wedding is about. And I don't know how many times the Lord has described to me the Muriel's wedding phenomenon with what it is that is pursuing me. The Muriel's wedding phenomenon with what it is that is not only pursuing me, but what it is that pursued many of my friends. Except unlike with Muriel, who was just, nah, actually, you know what, guys, like, <laughs> my former best friend was, was, was Muriel, was, was Muriel's, who do you call this, like, husband. Like, Yo, what, what are you doing? Like, what's going on? What is happening? Like, you know, marriage is just such a, a permanent life decision. You get, when you get married, you're planning on creating a lifetime with somebody. You're planning on creating a ch children, like human beings, a legacy. That's what you create in marriage. You can't just give that to anybody. Like, you can't just give that to anybody. Like, you gotta be prepared to wait, no matter how long it takes 
to be gladly willing to create a legacy with somebody to human beings children like entire souls that are going to like you two together y'all know how kids are with parents they don't care if y'all got issues they just prefer their parents together and when the parents divorce or they break up it just makes life very hard for the kids in the way that is felt and parents who care don't like them going through that distress to a point sometimes where they stay together for the sake of the kids and then next thing the children leave to go to university and mom and dad are divorcing like kids always struggle with what do you call this with with them um, second wives and basically whoever it is that mom and dad are now with they they struggle with other human beings so if you're gonna create a leg like you need to like people like i don't know who in the world am i talking to i believe her she ran out of food sure she should want to let her lead away she would have all the booty that pushes she shy he shed my shed surprise i guess i could speak to children but are they listening to me because i'm being sat on the chest off by millennials who have already made this mistake gen x and going backwards like people who went and allowed themselves to basically or faster to start a legacy with someone that you can't see very deeply into the future with with any level of ease or comfort and on the wedding day you are like muriel's husband like what's going on guys like it just it, it's just so common sense to me it's so clear to me that i don't understand why it wasn't clear to anybody else but that's just the thing it's written in God's word that the God of this world, Satan, he blinds the minds of unbelievers. So I guess the devil is the one that's blinding 21st century adults into just getting into marriages with people that they know on the wedding day. I didn't sign up for this. What the heck? Like on the wedding day, like guys, there's just so much time before you fall into that marriage is a legacy creator. It is the final place that you chill in unless your husband dies or your wife you are supposed to just do it with one person and so much so did the lord do it that way that he made sure that kids would make it very hard for you to divorce because they would dislike everybody else that's not their original mom or their original dad <clears throat> children will always favor their parents even though their parents don't like each other you could have a an opinion about your husband that is i guess somewhat lackluster and your peer and your husband might have a similar opinion about you but your kids will always think that you both are just the stars of the minute your kids will think of you both as these amazing people they will look at you as a match made in heaven like literally children believe their parents are a perfect match because they perfectly made them kids believe their parents are a perfect match you guys they're so naive like i thought my mom and dad were perfect too for each other to a point where after they got divorced i prayed as a child almost every day for my parents to get back together like now that i'm a a whole big fat chunky woman that's grown up i see the folly in that i see the error in my ways i see that my dad was a nitwit that did not make sense he was a deadbeat dad over and above being a deadbeat dad he was a horrible husband he was just a terrible man my mom was largely innocent in the matter i will not lie my mother has not always been whatever under heaven is as she is today she started out a very sweet girl and she did not deserve whatever my dad was he was a menace a yet despite him being a menace i wanted my mom to get back together with that menace now imagine your daughter pressurizing you to go back to a man that you know for a fact yes like it never if you knew if you knew what your dad did to me if you knew what kind of man he is if you knew what i've been endured through by that man you would not want that for me but kids think their parents are the best human beings on the planet even for each other and so when you keep on getting pressurized by a little 12 year old to get back with your husband or when your little 12 year old just can't stand your new boyfriend it's because your kid thinks that her dad or his dad is the best man on the earth for you because after all he created him the kid can only see virtue in parents unless the father or the mother are abusive or the dad is so absent that he's never been there or the mom has never been there but kids until they get to a certain age just literally can can their parents can do no wrong their parents can do no wrong and you're subjugating you to the tyranny of that hard knock extreme like outlier opinion on the normal distribution of a child you're, you're subjugating yourself to the tyranny of the opinions of your children thinking that you are deadbeat for separating <laughs> next part